So, are you ready to become a podcaster on podcasts? Download the Anchor app. It's the easiest way to do podcasting and it's also free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's easy. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my wonderful and beautiful kings and queens. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? I pray that each of you are having a blessed and safe day. All is well with you. Everything is going great. And even if it's not, you're on the side of my voice, guess what? You have made it to a brand new day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world, you have made it. And that right there is a blessing and miracle within itself. If this is your first time tuning into my podcast channel, my name is Candice E. Brown. I'm a certified life coach. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm also an author as well as a business owner. I am also, and what I do, I help all my ladies out there take their mindsets from rags to riches. Yes, helping them recognize the queen that's on the inside of them, okay? So I just want to thank each and every one of you that has been rocking with me for a while. The people that's on my podcast, the people that give. Thank y'all so, so much. Special shout out to you. Also, I want to give a special shout out to all my YouTube subscribers because y'all keep your girl going. I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all. Thank y'all for the comments, the likes, the shares. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And this is going to be on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click that notify bell so every time that I upload a video, podcast, or anything, you will be notified. All right? All right. So... For those of you that have been rocking with me, y'all know what I'm about to say. Ladies, fix your crowns, okay? Fix your crowns. You have the power to fix your crown. I don't care if they sliding off to the side. I don't care if it's got a crack in the middle on the side. It don't even matter if they shout up to pieces. You have the power to fix your crown, okay? And there are some of you. I don't know what y'all waiting on, but there are some of you out there. You have not even picked up your crown. Sis, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting on, okay? I need for you to bend down, pick up that crown, and walk like the beautiful, bold queen that you were born to be. All right, so I came on here today do a little bit. I always do encouraging words, but today this uh, just dropped heavy in my spirit. I was going to do a video, but I said, let me jump on my podcast and give my podcast people some love too, okay? So I'm going to do this podcast today. And y'all just think about that. This is, think about today. Today is December the 1st, y'all. That right there blew my mind this morning. When I woke up this morning and realized that it was a new day, a new month, not only is it a new month, but it's at the end of the year. The end of the year. Come on, somebody. I had my mentees, I I, um, did our daily devotion today. And I told them in the video, I need for y'all to think back to January the 1st of this year. You done made it all the way to December the 1st of 2021. That right there, that's a blessing. That's a miracle. And everything else within itself because you made it. Think about all the people that didn't make it. Okay, think about all the people that that uh that didn't make it that that's gone on. They think about that. I just want you to take a few moments and I want you to reflect back over your life. Yeah, you might be hurt, yeah, you might be heartbroken, yeah, you might ain't got no money in your pocket, yeah, you might ain't got no job. Come on, somebody, yeah, you might be going through this, you might be going through hell and high water, but I came to tell you today that you still him, so you still blessed, you still highly favored. Come on, somebody. Because somebody didn't even make it to December. You made it to December. If you under the side of my voice, you are blessed. You are blessed and you highly favored. You beyond blessed. Because somebody did not make it. That right there, when I when I put that in my mind in this morning, all I could do is say, God, I thank you. I done made it to the end of the year because somebody was 
thinking that they was gonna make it to the end of the year. Half of them didn't even make it to the middle of the year. Come on, somebody. Some of them didn't even make it to the three quarters of the year. Somebody even died on January the first. Come on, somebody. When New Year's Eve of this year, when New Year's rolled in this year on January the first, somebody checked out of here. But you better praise God right now because you made it to December the first. That right there is enough to give God glory, honor, and praise. Okay. Yeah, we walking around here talking about what we don't have. We walking around here talking about it's Christmas time and, and I got to get these kids gifts. And I, you better thank God that you got some children to give a gift to. God, thank you. Woo, thank you, Lord. You better thank God that you still living and breathing. And even if you don't have nothing to give your children, tell them all about Jesus. Tell them the reason for the season. Let them know that Jesus is the reason for the season. Let them know what Jesus did for us and how he died on the cross how he took every bruise every affliction for us how he got smacked in the face and spat on and talked about for our sins so we could live so we could have another chance to get it right even though we might have did wrong yesterday we got all we got to do is say god forgive me father i'm sorry forgive me and your sins is washed away all we got to do is go pray to god and ask god to forgive us turn our turn our face to the wall some of y'all need to turn your face to the wall and be like hezekiah and ask god to forgive you turn from your wicked ways and get over here where you need to be get on the right path the righteous path get over here and get into the new you become your authentic self because some of you don't know who you are some of you are still lost. I don't know where I, I had a I got a word for y'all, but but I have to let the Holy Spirit do what he do. Okay, some of y'all are still lost, and some of you need to go back to the basis because God had screamed that at me starting Sunday. Go back to the basis, go back to the beginning, go back to the book of Genesis. And when I began to go back to the book of Genesis, that right there just did something for me. When I read, I read, I said, God, I know who I am, but God said, I need you to revisit it again. Oh, God, some of y'all need to go revisit the book of Genesis again because it's a blessing right there for some of y'all. It's going to do something something for you see i can only tell you about me but you got to go do this for yourself the work that the, the stuff that you want you got to go get it for yourself you want to become a better man you want to become a better woman you got to do the work for yourself i can only sit here and tell you and i can encourage you but if you don't make the sound decision in your mind to get it for yourself it ain't gonna happen oh god i thank you Thank you, Lord. But I just had to get that out real quick. I'm going to get on this word. God already moving on this podcast, y'all. He been moving all morning, but he already moving. But I want to encourage somebody that today, do not, I want to go to Galatians 6 and 9. Galatians 6 and 9. And it reads, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. If we faint not, there is a blessing in the pressing. Okay? That means there is a blessing in the pressing. Do not give up in this season. I know a lot of us have came to the end of the year. I know a lot of us are tired. We done dealt with stuff. We done struggled with some stuff. And we've been struggling all year. But I came to encourage you today. I came to speak life to you today. I came to speak to them dry bones because I know what God can do. And in the mighty name of Jesus, them dry bones finna get up and they finna live. Come on, somebody. God say, do not go get weary in well-doing. For in due season, you're going to reap if you faint not. There is a blessing in the pressing. There's a blessing in the pressing. Yeah, I know you might have had to go out and pick up some extra shifts. That's all right. Yeah, I know you had to go out and get a job. That's okay, too. Yeah, I know you had to sacrifice this and you had to do this and do that. That's all right. Keep on pressing. Don't let nobody tell you no different because this is only temporarily. This ain't forever and always. Keep pressing. Keep pushing. You at the end of the year, push on out. How will you finish your year? 
How you gonna finish your year? You gonna finish your year mumbling and grumbling? Or you gonna keep on pressing? You gonna keep on believing in God? You gonna keep on trusting in God? And know that God will supply your every need. Come on, somebody. God will supply your every need. Don't you sit over here and wait on man to do this and do that. You better go back to the manufacturing. You better go back to the beginning. You better return back to your first love. Go back to God because God is the source. He shall supply your every need. The one thing God told me, God said, I'm going to take care of you because you got a mission, okay? You got something to do. You got to be about my business, okay? And as long as you're about my business, as long as you do what I tell you to do, I'm going to take care of you regardless. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to worry about how you're going to eat, how you're going to sleep, what you're going to do, how this going to get there. As long as you do what I tell you to do, I'm going to take care of you. That means God going to supply your every need. But you got to get into your purpose. And God will take care of you. Woo, God, I thank you right now. As long as you in purpose, you're going to get taken care of. Now, that don't mean that hard times ain't going to come. That don't mean trials and tribulation ain't going to come. But I will come to give you another word for that. What I had to go to the book of John. God, I thank you right now. I had to go to the book of John on you on this one. See, we be sitting up here worried about this and we worried about that. But Jesus already said, let me let me get this word here. Oh, God, I thank you. This good to me, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but this is good to me. Let me, let me, let me flip over to the book of John. And we're going to be in chapter 16. Uh-huh. And we're going to go to verse. I'm going to start with verse 32. And I'm going to read verse 33. And it says, Behold, the hour come. Ye is not come that ye shall be scattered. Every man to his own. And shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I said, oh God, that's good to me. Because I remember in Psalm 27 and 10, it says, when my mother and father leave me, God, you say you'll be right there. That means God is with you always. God, it don't matter what go down. It don't care who leave you in this season. It don't. It doesn't matter who left you in this season, whether they walked out of your life or whether they left you by death. God is still with you. And verse 33, listen to this. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace in the world. Ye shall have tribulation. Come on, somebody. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That right there, everything that you going through, Jesus already done took care of it. All the trials and the tribulations, all the hurt and the pain, all the sacrifices you having to make, all the stuff you having to go through, all the hell you having to go through, Jesus already done took care of it. He said in his word, I have overcome the world. He done already did it. All you got to do is trust the process. All you got to do is trust God. All you got to do is lead to God's understanding. Don't lead to your uh, own understanding. Don't go over there and listen to Sally Sue and Manium. Don't go over there and listen to this one and that one. But you better get this Bible. Get your sword. Get your daily bread. Come on somebody. And you better read it for yourself. And get the understanding that God wants you to get. Oh God I thank you. You don't have to worry about nothing. Let me tell you something. Everything that you done been through, Jesus already overcame it. Come on, somebody. He already done overcame it. And for those of y'all, y'all feeling tired, you feeling burned down, you worried, you frustration. I got, I got, I got something else too. I'm telling you, God is doing a new thing. He got me uh, flipping all over this Bible. But let me tell you something. I love it. I love it. When he was when he was downloading this to me, I had to say, whoa, slow down, God. Slow down. Because I know some of us are getting a little tired. We're getting a little bird down at the end of the year. We 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 worried about children, Christmas presents, how we're gonna buy this and buy that. But I'm gonna tell y'all something, the best gift that you can give these kids is to tell them all about Christ. Tell them about Jesus. Let them get a relationship with God, y'all, because it is much needed in these times. But those of you that feeling wor- being burned down, you stressed out, you pulling your hair out, you don't know whether to go north, east, south, or west, I'm going to read something to you. And it comes from Isaiah 40, 31. Y'all know this verse. But they that wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. 
They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. All you got to do is wait on God. That's all you got to do is wait on God. Stop trying to sit here and figure everything out. Stop trying to sit here and run to Sally Sue. Stop sitting over here trying to say, well, I need to run around right here with a chicken with my head cut off. All you got to do is sit there and wait on God. And while you waiting on God, worship God. Give God glory. Give him honor. Give him praise. Take, get your Bible and read your daily bread. That right there is going to strengthen you. It's going to give you encouragement. It's going to take you from point, from point A all the way beyond point Z. Come on, somebody. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lead not to your own understanding. Okay? There is a blessing in the present. Keep pushing. Keep going. Keep striving. Do not give up. T let me tell you something. We at the end of the year. How, how you going to leave this year out? You just going to throw your hands up and say that, see? No, baby. I'm going to keep on pressing. I'm going out with a bang and I'm coming in with a bang. Come on. Don't sit here and reflect on what you ain't did. Don't sit here and reflect on, well, I could have, well, you know, this right here happened to me. Stop sitting right there in that stuck place, in that stuck mindset. It's time for you to have a renewed mindset. Romans 12 and 2, be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. It's time to renew your mindset. It's time to go back to the basis. What God told me, go back to Genesis. Go back to the basis. I did a YouTube video. Talking about the temptation, talking about the fall of man, and how Eve desired to be like God, when in reality she already was. Come on, somebody. See, the problem is you trying to find a person you already are. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are trying to find the man and the woman that you already are. They on the inside of you. But all you got to go is on the inside of you. You got the keys. God done gave you the keys. He done gave you everything that you ever wanted and needed. It's on the inside of you. You searching for something you already possess, baby. You out here searching for love that you already got. You out here searching for joy, for peace, for prosperity, for wealth. It's already on the inside of you. All you got to do is take the key and unlock it. Everything that you ever wanted and needed, it's already in you. Greatness created you, so that makes you great. Do you not know who your father is? Do you not know who he is? Do you not know the power that you possess? All you got to do is speak a word. God took me back to Genesis. He said, in the beginning, come on somebody. And when God began to speak, God, I thank you right now. He said, let there be light. He let me know all you got to do is see it in your mind. All you got to do is speak a word and it shall come to pass. Come on, somebody. So if I know if I need wealth, all I got to do is speak prosperity. All I got to do is see prosperity in my mind. And all I got to do is speak prosperity. Say, I am wealthy. I am a rich woman. I am a wealthy woman. Okay? Don't you be walking around here talking about, oh, I ain't got enough money. Baby, you got more than enough money. I don't care what your bank account look like. I don't care what your checkbook say. I don't care what your paycheck say. You better hold it up in your hand and say, God, I thank you right now because you are about to increase my finances. And my and my finances shall increase. And y'all, I took it a step further. I went and created me an affirmation. And God said, call the money by his name. You want Benjamin Franklin? Guess what? Call Ben by his name. Say me and ben, me and Benjamin Franklin, Andrew Jackson, George Washington, you uh what is Ulysses? Uh, we call it Ulysses, you know we country, but it's Ulysses S. Grant. You better call that money by his name. You better talk to your money. Money has ears. We walking around here. What are we walking around here broke for? When well, all we got to do is speak a word. God let me know all you got to do is speak a word. What you want? Speak a word. I done gave you the power. It's on the inside of you. I say, And I began to read the book of Genesis. And I took me some notes and I said, God, all you did was speak a word and it came to pass. And God... It took time. 
who and it took patience god i thank you right now and and i and i see what god was what working so if god sent up here and he created these things and he worked why do we feel like we ain't got to work in the spirit come on somebody we work so much we work in the flesh but in the spirit child please we don't do no work. We go to these jobs. We clock in and we think a lot of us are, are conditioned to that minus. We are conditioned to that, that. That paycheck is all we are. You more than that paycheck. Young people give you what? They give you $2,500 every two weeks. Some of you don't even get that because I wasn't even getting that at one point. You get that. That's all you think. That's money. That ain't uh-uh. You more than that. So you mean to tell me that you on a condition? That, that, that's you? You $2,500? No, baby. I'm a whole billionaire out here. You better add a whole bunch of zeros behind them $2,500 with a bunch of zeros, okay? Put some dashes, some more commas in there, okay? I'm unlimited commas. Come on, somebody. You better speak prosperity over yourself. But a lot of us, we got the wedding. You know this right here. Let me tell you something. I was talking to a lady today. I'm going to get on off of here. And I told her, the minute that I came up with a plan to leave the job, the minute that I began to write the vision, come on, somebody, make it plain. The minute that I got specific about what I want to do, that's the minute the job became easy. You know why? Because I had a plan to leave. Guess what? You, when you sit down and you wake up to who you are and you know who you are and you get you a plan, a game plan, and you write the vision, come on somebody, and you make it plain and you know that's the minute that work going to become easy. A lot of us go, a lot of y'all going to work time. I, I hate this job and stuff. So what you there for? You got a choice in everything. You even got a choice to go to work. Come on. There's a choice in everything. In everything. You got a choice. No, I don't. If I don't go to work, I don't pay bills. That's a choice. That's a choice. If you don't go to work, you don't pay your bills. But if you don't like where you are, then you need to come up with a game plan to leave. Come on, somebody. The minute that you, that's making the plan, write the vision, make it plain, and you follow your game plan, that's when work going to become easy because, see, then... You know when you finna leave, now you don't have a definite, it's called a definite desire, a definite date. Now you done got definite about what you want. See, you got to be specific and you got to be definite about what you want. You just can't go around here speaking casual words. You got to be specific and you got to be definite in your words. Okay? Be what you want, be specific and be definite in your words. You want to leave your job? Be specific when you want to leave. Get definite when you want to leave. Get a plan. Get yourself together. Save. Do what you need to do in order to get up out of there. Come on, somebody. The minute that you do that, do that. The minute that you do those steps, hey, you're going to walk in that happy every day because you're going to be just like I was. Hey, my days are numbered here. My days are numbered. Guess what? My days were numbered, and I was able to leave. You're going to be the same exact way. But you got to get definite and you got to be specific. I know I was all over the place, but that's how the Holy Spirit roll. But I just want to come and remind y'all, do not give up in this season. There is a blessing in the prison. Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. I love you guys so much. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed, and prosperous day. This has been your girl, Coach Candace B, and I'm signing off. You guys take care. Bye-bye.